What's going on, workforce? Do you work all day on one of these? Then why do you want a game on it? I say, let's make you an expert on one of these. This is the Paladin Controller Guide, and let's just do this thing. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering three things. My HUD layout, my controller layout, and any macros that I might be using as a part of this job. All of these are suggestions, so just please take that into account. Feel free to make this your own. Your setup is more important because it's your setup. Muscle memory is key because that's how you're going to remember where things are. If you're taking time to look where a button is, you're taking too much time. So with that disclaimer out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So to get to your HUD layout, under Start, System, and then HUD Layout, it's going to bring up this control. You can see all kinds of windows. You can control each of these with the controller, but just for the ease of it, I'm going to go ahead and use my mouse. I have my target bar right here. I've got my focus target bar and enemy list right here. Especially as a tank, I want to easily see who I need to target. I have my oath gauge, which is my job specific for Paladin. That way I can always see what stance I'm in, as well as my oath meter as it fills up. Status effects is right there behind it. And then I have hop bar three. Hop bar three is just to communicate my cooldowns to me. Things that are off the global cooldown or things that I want to make sure that I am paying immediate attention to and I don't forget about. I have my left W cross hop bar over here, and I have my right W cross hop bar over here. I have them offset a little bit, and that's just my personal preference. Right in the center, I have my cross hop bar, then followed by my parameter bar, and a couple of emotes that I like to use just for myself. The rest of your UI you can configure any way you want, but the reason I kind of have all of this information all kind of boxed into this, what I call a square, is that the majority of my time my focus is in this area, especially as a tank. I don't want to have to be looking over the screen for any particular icon or window or what have you. But that's just me and hopefully this has been helpful. So now let's talk about how I've got my hotbar laid out and what I'm doing here. We're going to start with the top hotbar. First I have fight or flight, reprisal, which is a cross roll ability, convalescence, which also is a cross roll ability, Requisite, which is one of the new abilities for Paladin. Hologram, classic ability, long cooldown, I have it dead center so I know if it's up and ready. Circle of Scorn, obviously another global cooldown ability. I want to make sure that I'm constantly aware of when I can pull this off. Intervention is one of the new abilities, but because it's based off the Oath Gauge, it's not always active. So this will communicate to me when I can use it. Low Blow, could be any cross roll ability, it's up to you. And Provoke. As you can see here with the changes in Stormblood, I actually have a lot of cross roll abilities listed here on my top hotbar. Then on the left W cross hotbar, I've got Anticipation. And if it's not currently one that I've equipped, you can always set it to something else. Fight or Flight, Rampart, and Convalescence. I've got a lot of cooldowns here. On the left cross hotbar, I've got Bulwark, Sheltron, Spirits Within, Cover, Shield Swipe, my cooldowns macro, and let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. So here in my cooldowns macro, I put Rampart, Convalence, Tempered Wheel, Awareness, and Anticipation. Depending on what I have equipped for my cross roll, they, all of these might not fire off. It's one button that I can keep pressing over and over again to fire off multiple of these abilities. It really is up to you if you decide to use something like this. Then, I have Shield Low Blow, and this is Shield Bash, plus low blow. Paladin has this great ability called Shield Bash. It's a stun, but it's on the global cooldown, so you usually have to wait if you need to execute it. I've macroed these two, so it's going to try to low blow first. If low blow is not available, it will then Shield Bash. Since low blow is off the global cooldown, this can go off at any time, and then if it is not available, then I will be waiting. It won't obviously be pulling itself off, but this way I have a two-fold stun if available. You could easily reorder it like this. So it would save your load blow if Shield Bash is unavailable, and that's perfectly fine too. Then I have Total Eclipse. This is my AoE ability, and it's easy just to hold the left trigger and press the A button over and over again. It's so much fun. Then on the right hand side, I've got Goring Blade, Royal Authority, Holy Spirit, Requisite, Riot Blade. Rage of Halone, Savage Blade, and Paladin Main. Now Paladin Main being a macro, not much has changed with it if you've seen any of my previous videos. Fast Blade and Shield Lob. So if I'm not close enough to the target, it will Shield Lob, otherwise I will Fast Blade. 
It's important to note that depending on your ping, and if you're always shield lobbing, you might have more of a ping issue than anything else. And in that case, don't use the macro because your machine is not able to communicate with the server in a quick enough time and you don't want to always be shield lobbing because your TP would be drained and your damage would not be that great. So the reason more for this right side, I have my hate building combo right here. I've got my damage combo right there. I've got my dot combo right here, much like warrior. I've got my magic combo right here. So I've got a lot of my damaging abilities listed out just within this right side. Now I said just like warrior, dark knight's also very similar is that I have the hate builder for all of my tanks in the same button presses always. Somebody recently asked me in the comments, like how do you build up muscle memory? And because I actually play so many different jobs, it's important that those jobs that I play function very similarly. So it's not that I have to rethink the entire system every time. So hate building is always this combo. Damage is always this in this general direction, kind of like this little rainbow right there. And just like it, if you've seen my Dark Knight video, over here I've got my AOE builders, Flash and Circle of Scorn. Sentinel, whenever I need that additional 40%, and Divine Veil. Every job is gonna be different, every job plays differently, but as much as I can, I try to keep everything similar. Stun is always in this position for me, for any job that I play. So it's just a natural button combination to try to be able to stun a target. Lastly, I have one more hotbar, and it's invisible. Using the extended cross hotbar, you can hold down the left trigger and then the right trigger and it's gonna bring up these additional abilities. All this is pointing to is my hotbar two left side. So you can see here I've got shield oath, I've got sword oath, I've got reprisal, I've got clemency. There's intervention, so whenever this triggers and I can see it, this is how I use it. Passage of arms, which is just too beautiful not to click. Hollowed ground and provoke. On the right hand side, holding right trigger and then down on the left trigger, I've got various countdown macros, various marking macros, my limit break, my book, my sprint, my mounts. The R trigger, L trigger is shared between all jobs. The left trigger and the right trigger is always for the job that I'm on. We've seen these abilities, we've seen these macros, we've talked about the HUD layout. You might be asking yourself now, how do I set these hop bars up? How do I turn on the extended cross hop bar? How do I turn on the W cross hop bar? To do that, you're gonna hit start, go into character configuration, go into hop bar settings. Here you can easily see where you can display hop bar three. That's gonna be how you turn this on so it's visible. Under sharing, this is where you're gonna say, what am I sharing? So you can see that one through six are job specific, seven and eight are shared hop bars. Under cross hop bar, if you wanna be able to see hop bar help, which is gonna kinda of when you hold the R trigger and L trigger, that's gonna be what tells you what that ability is. Feel free to use this until you're really comfortable with your abilities, it can be very helpful. I'm in hold. I have always displayed the W cross hop bar and to return to cross hop bar after the cross hop bar input. What that means is if I use this ability, boom, I'm automatically refocused back here. You can change this to be any which way you want, but I use these as one offs and it has me return my focus back into my main cross hop bar. Under custom, I've got enable expanded controls with left trigger and right trigger, and that's what this is. You can see that left trigger and right trigger is hop bar to left, which is job specific right to left is all my jobs. And then enable W cross hop bar with simultaneous left and right trigger double tap. I've got to display only four buttons and I'm pointing right now to hop bar three left and right and that's how you assign those abilities. It's important because everybody asks me and that's the same thing that caught me off guard. You cannot drag and drop abilities into this, you have to go to hop bar three and set them right here. That's where the interaction happens. This is just some kind of shortcut link. And so you can't drag and drop right onto it. I was like, what's happening? Come on, I'm trying to edit and it's not working. <laughs> anyway, hopefully this video has been a help. Hopefully you've been able to take something from it and I wish you the best of luck. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about any of the macros or anything I showed off today for Paladin. But I'm really glad you're here. And again, thanks so much for watching. Anyway, my name is Brian and this is Work to Game. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope you have a fantastic day, and we hope to see you in our next video. But until then, take care. Thanks for watching. YouTube has a pretty cool video waiting for you over here. Our latest vlog is down below. For those of you new, subscribe is over here, and uh, all of our other contact info is just right below me here.
Thanks for watching.